And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's Arsenal up against Monaco. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Couldn't quite keep it down. Goal kick. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Joao Cancelo starts with Alexander Zinchenko in the fullback positions. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Gabriel Jesus. Very comfortable when in possession. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Promising attack, this. Firing it towards goal. So, a corner here. <laughs> Who can they pick out? Not all that convincing defensively. Ben Yedder, and gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, link it up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch-side man, Jeff Shreves. Word from the bench is that he's actually twisted his knee. That's why he's been trying it out. But at the moment, he's carrying on. Cheers, Jeff. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Cancelo. That's a fairly easy save for any keeper to make. Galavin. Mohamed Kamara. Throw in here for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Played into the centre. Well, in fact, a bit too close to the goalkeeper. And that was all was going to be claimed. Well, the timing was perfect. Ball one. And below. Might be a chance here. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Well, visionary passing. Now a decent position. Can he get them in front? Top-notch defending, but the chance still there. And below. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more players forward if they're to pose a real threat. Yes, a stalemate so far. Will that situation change? And with that, the attack fizzles out. And strong play here. Yusuf Fofana. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. 
And there it is, the referee's whistle. The first half has come to an end here in North London. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Yes, there's certainly room for improvement. He struggled to have any real impact on the game. He hasn't got on the ball enough, and when he has, he's given it away cheaply. But I'm sure we'll see a month. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Well, possibilities inside the box. And below, no way through. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And an effective clearance. Golovin. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Trossard. Well, he prevented it from going over the line. Trossard. Rice and now with Havertz oh he saved it well well just listen to these fans they're urging their team to score here and take the lead the short corner Joao Cancelo and back with Trossard Cancelo and what a close shave it was so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Went in strongly, decisively. Alexander Zinchenko. A chance to whip it in. Might it be Gabriel Jesus? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. He's given it straight to the opposition. Difficult to stop him. Real Embolo. And he stopped them in their tracks. Can he give them the lead? And you've got to say, not the best of volleys that time. Yeah, it was certainly there to hit, but he just couldn't make the right contact. It was well wide in the end. Gabriel Jesus Rice with it How about the cross? Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Jeffries, happy birthday from all your friends and family. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Ben Yadair. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Trossard. Rice with it. Havertz. Now in possession, Trossard. Level pegging, but can they change that? Zinchenko. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in.
Embolo. An unforced error, you've got to say. Declan Rice. And he cuts in from the wing. Must be! Well, what a piece of skill this is. It had everything. Agility, technique and power. It's a great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Enrique. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. How can they find a late leveller? Well-timed tackle. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. And now it is official. The referee brings this match to an end, and it's a victory for the Gunners. Yes, Derek, sometimes it takes a while to eventually get the better of the opposition, and that was the case here. They kept going, and they eventually got their reward. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.